Okay, welcome to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. <coughs> Today we're going to make, uh, hopefully a quick, like uh, a lot of people call them veal cutlets, I mean uh, chicken cutlets, uh, chicken scallopini, but it's just pounded chicken, you know, <laughs> don't laugh. But anyway, i uh, got a few ingredients, we're going to make that, so uh, that's going to be my dinner for tonight, and I figured we'd let you guys see what we do, we don't just eat chicken. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Okay, what we got here is some uh, cooking oil, Parmesan cheese back there, some red pepper flakes, some cayenne seasoning mix, a blackening mix that we call it, uh, paprika, uh, cayenne pepper, uh, panko, three eggs we're going to use for the wash, all-purpose flour, star to show is a chicken. Uh, I've already, these ones I've already pounded out. Cut them down right down the middle of the breast and then just pounded them to about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more. And I got one here to show you what I was doing. Okay, right to it. Okay, normally uh, I do everything over by the stove, you know, breading everything up. I'm going to bread my stuff here today. But anyway, what you do is you cut the, the breast, which is here, cut it down the middle, slice it, you know, to what, try to get it middle like. And then what you want to do, the reason you pound these out, it doesn't really, well, it does probably tenderize it, but you're trying to get them all about the same thickness so that they cook about the same, same time. So what you do is with the flat side, you take a piece of saran wrap. Here. Take a piece of saran wrap and, uh, like, double the length of the chicken breast and then put the chicken breast in there and then bring this back around. And this has lasted all, I did six or seven pieces. Anyway, <coughs> what you do is, Take him out like you, I got ridges. I mean, yeah, pokers here, whatever. Don't use that side. Use the smooth side. And as you're going, pull away like this as you're hitting it. And, and don't beat the heck out of it. <laughs> don't take out your aggression if you're mad at your spousal unit or your friends or something. You know, just because you can really you can really whack the heck out of it, and you'll end up with the shredded chicken. I was going to say shredded meat, but you know. But as you see, just keep pounding away and uh, pull it as you're doing it. And sometimes if you get lucky, you almost double the size of a piece of meat, you know. But anyway, that's, uh, that's what we got here. All right. See how big that got? Whoa, dude. Okay, so it's about there. See the thickness of it there? Okay, so then we're going to put this here. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to set up the, the, uh, the stations. And uh, we'll be back. I want to hold you guys up today. Hold on. Okay, so you guys just see, so you can see my setup. I'm working from right to left. There's my chicken. Next is going to be my flour station with I got a little uh, cayenne pepper and salt and pepper and I got to mix that together. I just want to show you what I did. Got my eggs. I got three eggs uh, beaded up and I put a little hot sauce in there. And here you can see I got my breadcrumbs with uh, grated Parmesan or yeah, both grated ones like this is the long grate and then this one's a powder over here. I got some pepper flakes in there, some cayenne pepper and some uh, seasoning, blackened seasoning. So I'm going to set everything up and work my way from right. This will be my last station right here. And then that's going to go into the dish over there. Okay, I know you guys noticed that I've been putting, you know, hot sauce here. And I, the reason that is it's because each layer you, you should have a little spice, you know, whatever you're going to do. Just don't leave plain and then plain and then, you know, spice. Put it everywhere. So uh, what we're going to do is take a piece of chicken, plop it in the flour, coat it down pretty well. Do that to both sides. Okay, then you pick it up, shake off the excess, drop it in your egg bath there. We're going to coat both sides of that. Okay. 
Okay. Then we're going to scoop it out, shake off the excess again, and then we're going to plop it right into the panko breadcrumbs. Okay. And you want to try to get a nice coating of the breadcrumbs going. I just push them down a little bit. And try not to, you know, there's a big piece of chicken. Try not to have them, uh, you know, fold it over anywhere. Try to keep them all flat so you get, don't get a surprise, you know, a whole section. There's no breadcrumbs on it or nothing. But, uh, yep, it's working. It's beautiful. Okay, now you get that all coated up. You want to pick that up. Shake off some of the excess. See, there's a piece right there that didn't get coated, see? Shake it off, and then plop it on your prep dish. These are going to be ready to go into the oven, I mean into the my pan, which I already have on, so it's going to heat up pretty quick. So uh, let me do one more for you. You take the chicken, you place it in the flour. Okay, now this is because it, it the reason you go with flour first, because it makes like a glue when it binds with the egg there. And, and then that's why things stick to it, you see. Again, shake off the excess. i got to get this one. See the little fold in there. So, Okay. Then you shake off the excess. And then you put it in your egg wash. Try not to have anything folded over. Drizzle off the excess. Just move my breadcrumbs around a little, or my panko crumbs. And again, last station. And that's how you should set it up. You should go with your flour first, your egg in the middle, and your breadcrumb at the end, and then you're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to finish up the rest of these, and we'll be back to you. All right, because by then, my, my oil is probably already heated up. I don't want to go crazy. But anyway, so there you see it, huh? Again, plop it on the dish. And that's, we're set there. Okay, let me, let me finish the rest of these, and we'll be back to you. Okay, just wanted you to get a look at the chicken. I got it all breaded up, ready to go. Hot pans there. We're going to check it with the spoon technique. Should be about three. Okay, so we're going to give it a little spoon test here. Yep. She's a bubbling. She's a bubbling. Oh, well, she's bubbling all over the place. Pretty evenly heated, I'd say. Huh? Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's delve into the chicken mess here. This is one of the bigger ones. I mean, what I mean, bigger, you know, longer. What is that sound, folks? That's right. You know what it is. Sizzle. And you know sizzle sells. Oh, these are going to be, they're going to be beautiful. Ha, 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 Cook them a few minutes on each side. Oh, yeah. This is going to be, well, this is going to be delicious for dinner. Huh. See, it's kind of hard for me to get two of these in at a time. Cause they're relatively big, so I have to wait till I get down, down in the pile a little bit. There's a little small ones down there. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to turn this baby. But anyway, it doesn't take you long, especially once you pound them out. Uh, they get all around the same thickness. It takes about the same amount of time to cook them. Nice, tender, and juicy. Uh, when you eat them for dinner, you know, you can take a little uh, squirt of lemon sauce and put it on there. Some hot sauce, salt and pepper. You can do whatever you want once you... You're eating it. There you go, baby. There you go. I know you guys are seeing that nice color, huh? <laughs> Just how we like it. Hmm? But I did mix the, you know, I was going to mix Slap Your Mama in there, but 
I never really, uh, I tried it on a couple things, but not something like this, you know. Because it, it, it does have a little kick to it. It's that Louisiana spice thing. It's called Slap Your Mama. Walmart sells it. They sell it just about everywhere. Oh, come on, chicken. You want to dance around? I know how to play your game. I'd say this is about done. I just want to... It's a shame this thing's sizzling so loud. You guys can't, you know... The crust is nice. It's uh, crunchy. Okay, so we take this one off. Drain. Put it on the rack, okay? Let's get the next one going. See? This one here, this is a weird shaped one. I'll take this one now. I <laughs> think I beat that one a little too long with the mallet, huh? Well, at least he stayed in one piece. Okay. So this really isn't what you'd call deep frying them. This is like a shallow fry. But at any rate, let me finish these pieces and we'll get back to you. Okay, as you can see, let me turn this light off a little. As you can see, we're nice and golden brown. My last two pieces are done. I'm going to take these out. And set them on the cooling rack, huh? Nice golden brown all the way around. Oh, me and Penny are going to be eating good tonight, huh? And we still got probably a little less than half the oil I started with, so that's not too bad. Um, I got some on the burner, though. It's stinking. Anyway, while it's still hot, let me sprinkle a little salt pepper on there. Give you guys a little peek. All right. Okay, so there's my chicken. I think my camera made a big picture. I don't know. Yeah, that seems to be better. I readjusted it. Okay, so there's my chicken. And uh, we'll be meeting at the taste test table. Okay, here we are at the taste test table. Me and Mr. Elmo and the camera girl. Okay, so Elmo got a bite. Now it's my turn to take a bite. But before I do, I tell you, I use this a lot. This is that uh, copycat horseradish thing that we make, horsey sauce, from Arby's. And it tastes dang good. It tastes just like it. So, I think I need a knife. Mmm. <laughs> now, we got a knife real quick. Well, the coating <laughs> definitely did us good. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll figure out what we got here. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was that piece of chicken. Mm hmm. I wanted them chewy things in it. But it definitely, definitely does a trick. Mm. Mm. I have all kinds of flavors going on. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, you can take a bite later. Anyhow, this is uh, all good to go. Remember... Roma always been telling us, cover up when you go outside and about. 
Don't talk with your mouth full. Wash your hands. Give us a like. Share. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And uh, <coughs> the notification bell. And until next time, which will hopefully be soon, you guys stay hungry and come back and we'll give you another recipe. This is Mr. Dan. We're out for now.